Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my seeds after five days of after starting the germination. Um, they are doing pretty well. I put them in this egg carton to help keep a little bit of moisture and it's gone really well. My jalapenos haven't gone anywhere. My parsley hasn't. Um, my cilantro, I've got one there if you can see it. He's got a good sprout on him starting. My peas are amazing. Five days. They're ready to go, it looks like. My tomatoes, I've got one little, couple of sprouts there. Got a, my carrots, haven't really done anything. I've got one sprout on my onion. And then my lettuce has really taken off too. Today I'm going to be planting them into my hanging bottle garden. These are my lettuce sprouts that I'm going to be planting in the hanging garden as well. These are my seeds that I started five days ago in the Jiffy Mini Grow House. Which as you can see I'm doing onions, lettuce, carrots, tomatoes, peas, cilantro, and parsley. Um, my tomatoes and my peas have really taken off. This is only five days after planting them in there. And my peas are doing so good I actually took them and ended up breaking them open because as you can see like they're growing through on the bottom. They're doing really really good. Five days and seem to be extremely successful. So another one of these I actually I broke open and you can see oops that's not good how good these seeds are doing look at that root in five days I'm gonna plant these into my hanging bottle garden these will have a really good fresh start in there I'm maybe only gonna plant maybe two in each little water bottle so that they have enough space to grow I'm going to start staggering them, germinating them, a new batch every week or so, so I have a continuous supply of these. So, they're doing pretty good. What I'm doing is taking these peas, sprouts, and I'm breaking them out of the peat pellets. And five days, look at those roots, doing really, really well. Put these in my hanging bottle garden. But the reason I'm taking them out of the peat pellets is because they do have like this plasticky cover here. And it's really, really tough, and I know a lot of seeds can't make it through these. So it'll just depend on the seeds. I know the peas are actually... I I wanted to start vegetable planting, but I only have this small windowsill, so I started off with these tiny little planters. I got five of these from the dollar store, so, you know, $5 for 15 little planters. And on this windowsill, depending on how close I put them, I can fit about 9 to 12 which was okay, but I decided that I wanted more plants than that. I wanted a faster yield and I wanted to continuously grow. So I saw these hanging water bottle planters on YouTube and I made one myself, two of them as you can see. And I do plan on making more so I will make a video on how I made them. Okay, so I planted one of my little pea sprouts right there and I made one more hole right there so I can just drop one more sprout down into the hole and I will cover it with soil and I will show you what it looks like. And here's a closer view of them inside of the water bottles here for you. You can see that they're doing pretty well. With the hanging bottle garden I have a total of eight bottles, six with peas and two with lettuce. And each of them have two sprouts in each of them. So I'm sure it will get quite a bit going here pretty soon. And I have the dates on there so I can start staggering um, harvest dates. So I will always have peas and I will always have lettuce. Pretty excited.